So far, we have talked about sound waves from a stationary source and being detected by a stationary observer. What if the source is moving at some velocity and the observer that is detecting the wave is also moving at some velocity? So now we'll talk about sound waves from moving source. So let's say f, the frequency of a stationary source, and f observer is the frequency detected by an observer. In the simple case that we have studied so far, uh, where both the observer and the source are at rest, the frequency the f is equal to the f of observer. What if we give the source and observer some velocity, uh, denoted by velocity SRC, that is velocity source, and velocity OBS, or velocity observer? Then the frequency that is being detected changes from the frequency of the stationary source and it is given by this formula frequency of, as detected by the observer is equal to the velocity of speed plus minus velocity of observer divided by velocity of speed minus plus velocity of source into the frequency of the stationary source this formula and this effect is known as the Doppler effect if you see the plus minus depends on in which direction are the observer and the uh, source moving relative to each other and here Vs is the velocity of sound and as we know that is 343 meter per second. So let's understand uh, Doppler effect better by taking an example. Let's say we have a source which whose stationary frequency is 1600 hertz. So we know the velocity of sound in air it's 343 meter per second and let's say if there is an observer who is moving at 28 meters per second. So we have to find what frequency does the observer detect which is f of observer in two different cases. Let's say for the first case observer is moving towards the source. So we have the source is at zero velocity and the observer is moving at 28 meters per second and it is moving towards the source. So this is our equation for the Doppler effect. When the observer and source are moving towards each other the on the, the on in the numerator we we'll take a plus sign and in the denominator we we'll take a minus sign and when the two are moving away from each other in the numerator we'll take the minus sign and in the denominator we take the plus sign for our case as the observer is moving towards the source or as we can say they both are relatively moving towards each other we'll take plus in the numerator and minus in the denominator so we get Vs plus V observer divided by Vs because velocity of source is zero and if we put, uh, put down the values and calculate we get the final frequency that is being observed by the observer is 1730.6 hertz and as you see it's greater than the actual frequency when the both the source and observer are at zero velocity. For our next case uh, the observer is moving away from the source the source is still at rest so our equation Doppler equation becomes this because as they are moving away from each other relatively the we'll take minus in the numerator and plus in the denominator and as the V of source is zero so we are just left with velocity of speed in the denominator and we will plug in the values and we will see that the final frequency is 1469.4 hertz which is less than the actual frequency in the stationary case.